when Yudha will be as geschmack to him, Ati Kanarich, as talking this, uh, the Darum. That's the goal. You have to remember it's cold language, like music. I don't know, to, I, I know music. You see music, you don't have to read notes? No. <laughs> oh, God. It's also boring to me. I, I, I okay. do it, show it to me. I'll okay, play. no, but the point is like this. The things it. that give you geschmack, right? Yeah. At the end, it's just cold words. Yeah. You have to get over the hump. Okay. Remember, I was a bocher. I'm not bocher. First time I don't see this. I want to say with whom. Uh, but anyway, we know. <laughs> <clears throat> He's been learning the kutete. It was an ocean parkway, and it was seven o'clock at night. After I went to English high school, and seven o'clock at night. That age, like you're fifteen, you're not interested in anything. You want to go home. It's a language talk. It's already, you know. But we learned the kutete. Pasha by Yikro. Everyone learns it in the beginning. After time. And, and tell me till this day, as much as I enjoy this and I learn it, when I hear Asusan to the Tata Asusan to the right away a knot goes in my stomach. It brings me back to when I was 15, and he would put us to sleep, like, you know, you know he killed it. He said, Asusan to the Tata, Asusan to the Tata, the Tata. You know, I start, his words <laughs> become like a drone. You know, like, you're like half asleep in the country, and a mosquito starts buzzing, and it's a can you sugar then? It does, you know, it's amplified. It, it, yeah, it, it, and, and this is, it keeps, keeps coming back, a fly or something like that. That's how it became. So I have a very allergic reaction. Maybe even a susu lutan, a susu But I came to realize that's, a, you know, that's my childhood trauma, you know. <laughs> and, that, and to get out of it. It's all cold mm. words. It's cold words, do us the attic in you. You know, you understand that? When I look at you, I see Atik, Atik. Also cold. Huh? I'm saying, no, I, I have to there was a There was a Rebbe Rashab in the Babas. There was a man called Af- Avra Bavrom. He was a, 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 they called a felsher, a felsher, something like that. Like a paramedic. They didn't have a doctor. They had like a, a he had a long beard. First aid guy. He's a long beard. He like this, he's an emissary. I heard from Mendel Marozov, he told it to Beryl Weiss. We both will be Mavaka Chela and here is he here once in a while. And these are the four Shlemites. Yeah. So he was in a hospital here in Methodist at Park Slope. So I was there. Mendel Marozo was there. Mendel Marozo told the story. But he lived in Middle Babis, you know, uh, born there. So so, so, so the Rebbe Rashab was once sitting outside on a summer day. He sees Avram, he calls him over. He says, You know, I don't like doctors. That's what the Rebbe Rashab said. Why? Because a doctor, top tavant. The doctor is like he touches a wall, you know, he's feeling. A good doctor is a person who has, who can see that touches a wall. And a bad doctor is a blind person who touches a wall. As they take it You know, a doctor, he feels like. But you I like. Why? Because when it comes to you with a problem, the first thing you do is you grab your beard. <laughs> which means your mom sheikh, you'd give him a So already, the right side of the beard is atikim. The left side of the beard is arachantim. <laughs> So before you even say anything, it was better than any doctor. <laughs> Sounds good, like Dr. Zelix, like Dr. Zelix, you know. Anyway, so when, so so we're trained. Instead, you know, you look at a person, you see Meisha Debashkin here. So you remind you who's Meisha Debashkin, what did he do with his life, and this and this. You like him, you don't like him, etc. But a person who's trained looks like an X-ray. So he doesn't see. He sees Atik, Arich. It may be that the, 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 the outside doesn't not align with the inside, but that's what he sees, Atik, Arich. You know, like seeing an X-ray, you see a skeleton. He sees Chochme, Bina, Das, Chesed, Malchus, Atzilus, Bria. You get it? That's the bottom line. So you could say, I don't, I don't you wouldn't want to see that? Wouldn't you be able to love to be able to walk around the street and just see people like the way they were meant to be, not the way they are? Oh. Huh? Good. Tell me. You have to answer this question. Fine, the, the conversation is a boring conversation to me. You know, I, I even this is boring. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'll tell you, for me, anything I feel, anything you have to sell, so forget about it. If something is so good, you you have to make it. Your job is to make it so interesting to me <laughs> that I'll, I'll I'll be drawn into it. We think the whole world about it is also not going to pull me into it. Really? I think talking about it is not going to. Okay. Fine. I just gave you a a a. Dumb. It wasn't about you. I understand. You think, I, maybe you think about yourself too much. Okay, that could be. <laughs> that's the thing. Maybe that's the equation. That's the problem. <laughs> anyway, so let's learn a little yeah. at the Kanadic, okay? Yeah, and then we'll go back to. Uh... There's not a code language, no, because because this is what we have to brech. 
<laughs> yesterday it was like Bamer. And the whole point of like Bamer is that the white children, because that has been made sure that children spoke Primi Satel. Little kids. That Mashiach will come in the streets, not just the, the grace of masculine and the big thinkers. So why is that they say the Zoyer was hidden and then it wasn't revealed until... No, well, the, the book wasn't revealed, but the, the, the teachings were taught in the time of Rajbi. Rajbi to read it. Mashiach will come, that's the main thing. Mashiach will come. And it's on him near about it. You'll see the children will, uh, which means that it, it should be common language, you know? Yeah, I, the, I, I see my granddaughter, she plays on an iPod like, like, like she's an expert. She's two years old, two and a half years old. Because it's built intuitively for children. Mm -hmm. That's our job, to make chassidus as intuitive as all these gadgets. Everybody know, everybody's learned, knows, knows all these gadgets, you know? I love the idea. That's it. Okay, so we're on page Tazvov, Tovvov rather, 406, Ayin Beis, Eish Resh. We say hello to Harvey Lang in case he's out there in cyberspace. Yes, yes. Doc, the Dr. Doctor. Dr. Tzvi Lang. Dr. Tzvi Lang. Yeah. And we, we just began this, this page yesterday. Yeah, we're on page Tazvov, okay. Eish Resh, 200. The, okay. And what he's discussing here is that there's just like in Chachmeh, there's two levels, Hafla. You go into the Edelkeit. The, 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 this, it's like going up. There's also the second half, Chachmeh coming down, be understood to everybody. And you need both. And they're both totally different. So the same thing is a Mechish Timah. Same thing as an unconscious and the hidden Mechin. There's also these two things. And he's beginning, first he begins with understanding it, Api Kabbalah. Because it's very grounded, I am based. So ground, I am based also doesn't just bring the explanation. He starts with the. Uh, so he started from Eitz Chaim. Very Indian who did he need bezeir of Eitz Chaim? We'll start from there. It's like uh, ten lines, six, yeah, ten lines from the top. Very Indian who you see. Agui. Very Indian who did he need bezeir of Eitz Chaim, which is the two yisedes the kisvarim. Ezeir is for Ashbi. You know, and Eitz Chaim is that is all. These are the two biggest kabbalistic works. Mashma, from that is mashma, the gili pnimi the attic of the chemist, the more dafke, the galgada beginnis attic beginnis in makam lag of rag beginnis chen satik. I explained. The human body is created in the tzir, the tzalam alakim, the way Kavyochel, the Ebishta, put himself in that tzir. So when you look at Psariach Zalaka, from my flesh I behold God, one of the big things of Chsidis is that we bring examples from our flesh, how you, you know, our eyes, our ears. You say the Ebishta saw, the Ebishta sees like we see. No, but he wants to dibble the Tater, but Lashem Bani Adam, the Tater speaks in our language. So just like we see, and when you see something, you know it's real, the Ebishta also has a certain power to have that type of uh, relationship, so to speak. So we look at ourselves and everything, the human body, remember who built this human body? Not a human being, the Ebishta. He built it in based on what? Why did he make us uh, that suit that you have a head here? and a heart here, and a right hand, and a left hand. Why? So scientists, uh, they, they have their own theories. Ours is very simple. He created us like he looks. Now, the Ebersh doesn't have it seared, but if he, the Ebersh would manifest himself in some type of structure, you are a mirror image of what what, what God, does. that means Tzalem Elikim. That means Apostolic and the Chumash. You created Tzalem Elikim. So therefore, when you look, if you study the human body, even the body, not just the Neshama, you can get, you can get a picture from my flesh, you can have a picture of what, how elokush talzuch is. For example, the human body, everyone knows, is based on a right, left, and a center. You have a right arm, you have a left arm, you have a heart and a chest. You have a right leg, a left leg, you have the center. Why? You have a spine. Well, God forbid a person without a spine can have everything, but he can't stand, he can't walk. Because in any structure, you need to have three things. A table, minimum, needs three feet. Take away two, two legs, no table. Four is solid, but three, because that's how structures are built. And even even architecture, you know, is always there's always a middle pillar, and there's the the sides. So even a thing like that reflects kavha. You mean is kavha is is chesed? Kavha smell is is the side, left is kvoda, and kavha mtsay is teferis. And God says always choose the middle path. And you have right wing, left wing, liberals, conservatives. Uh, you know, antis and pro and, and so on. 
So yeah, especially didn't use that, but by nine days in the that that you know, like I always say about Orthodox conservative reform. In Tater, there's no such names. In the state of state, you have a neshama, you know, and that's it. Is there such thing as Orthodox neshama? Is there Meshachis neshama and anti Meshachis neshama? It's 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 country club labels. These are not the fragments that Mumchim made of neshamas. The Rabbanim can decide if that chicken is kosher or not. So so bottom line is, I'm just saying as a little introduction. So here he's going into in Mechen, uh, you know, today psychology talks about conscious and unconscious. What's, con- what's conscious and unconscious? Conscious and subconscious. Conscious is right now, for example, we're speaking, so expressing ourselves. We understand what we're saying, hopefully. But there's, there's always unconscious forces at work. Like I may say a word right now, and then you'll get angry. Not at me, you know. It may evoke something that happened 20 years ago, five years ago. Yeah. Now, what evo- what's going on? We, 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 why wasn't it a minute before? Because it's in there somewhere. Our childhood experiences are in our unconscious. In a way, you could look at that as meichus timah. That's chach timah. It's the things that you're not aware of, but are still inside of you. And the things you are aware of. Does that make sense? Yes. So chach is what you know right now. You get an idea, great. What about the minute before? Where was that idea? It was somewhere buried. The potential was there, and something take you need something to like, so to speak, awaken it. It's like when you read an article about Israel now, what's going on? If you hear different opinions what what Obama is doing to Israel. Yeah. So when you don't, right? When you hear another uh, way person is looking at it, all of a sudden it it, it, it comes out. Yeah. You have the same thinking really, but it didn't. It, the other person with his writing was Magali or, 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 or anything. For example, he's like singing nigan. So the nigan has the power usually to access the unconscious. And the yeah. ashtuma nigan? Also. Also? My, my, the answer is ashtuma answer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so understand th- each other. <laughs> okay, fine. So Bamela, what he's trying to say here, therefore, there's two things. She's going into Bunzei and Nitzchayim that there's, there's two levels. There's Galgalta. There's What's Galgalta? Let's talk now Galgalta. Galgalta, physically, is the skull. So doctors will tell you, what do you need a skull? It protects the brain. The brain is a very sensitive thing. The skull is extremely one of the strongest bones in the body. So you could, for example, God forbid, a person, like the helmet, it's like a helmet. God forbid, so, you know, a person falls, most, most likely with the brain will not be affected. Sometimes a serious fall, a serious accident. That's, 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 that's come Yeah, but the Golgotha, the, the, the skull is essentially a armor that protects the brain. Mm-hmm. What is it in Ruchnius? So that's what he's discussing here. In Ruchnius, Galgalta is higher than the brain. It surrounds the brain. But it's not, you can't compare it to Seichel. It's not Chochmah. It's, 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 it's inanimate. It's a bone. So in Ruchnius, he's saying that the, that the Seichel, the Meichen, the Meichen, that's what he's saying. Right here. Krimi the Atik, the Gili of the highest levels of Atik, is more in the in the is in Chachmas whereas the Galgalt is only Atik is only Ir Makif, only the Chetzenius of Atik. What's Atik? He'll soon discuss his pleasure. It's a high level of Elokus. So Chachma, because it's it's an active force, you're thinking, you're understanding something, even on the Chachma level, is connected to a deeper place, even than the skull, which is surrounds and protects it. That's I mean, it's as simple as I could put it. The Bechachmas Demar Meir begins Primis Atik. Because the Chachmas Demar, there is Meir, there is illuminated, is, is, uh, is ma- shines Primis Atik. Or begins Primis, or begins Primis. And it shines in a Primis Dika way. That's why there's a, there's a, a you understand something. Or Begogalta, and in the skull, Begogalta, Meir Rachitzenius Atik, or begins Makav Vavad. There you only have chitzenius atik, and it's only makif. That's why it's a skull. It's only surrounds. It's not. The, you don't want to say the skull understands anything. It's this. It's the brain that understands. It's the mechan that understands. So according to this galgalta, the skull is is chitzenius akaser, the outside of kaser. The chachmas tamar primis akaser. This is what's mashma in Eitzchayim. Basically, the Rebbe Rashab just gave as a mumche in Kabbalah. He gave a rule that Eitzchayim zeir and Eitzchayim azeiz mashma. 
So I'm just that's what he's very saying well, here. Very well said. Yeah. Okay, but in sense so all when you speak about the cases, there's no as butter. He will explain. The hine be idra zuta. Idra zuta is a section of Zayad. The end of Zayad is idra zuta. Tafresh peiches say from a days. He even gives the page number in case you want to look it up. He said that. What does it say? The tekuna da tika kadish is taken with tekuna chad klolot the chol tekinun v'chach me los dimar. Okay, tekuna. Tekuna yud gimel tekuna dikna. Is a like a levush. It's like it's a, the tekuna da tika. The levush of atik kadisha, atik kadish the helik atik. Just for the record, I want to just tell you what atik comes from a pasuk, from Daniel, in one of the visions of Daniel. He says, "Atik came in Yosef al Kusaya." Literally, atik means old age. Atik is old. Yoimin is days. So it's one of the old days. Sits on a on a on a, uh, on a couch, on a couch, a kusaya, a throne. Okay. Okay. On a chair, a throne, the levusha tlag chiver. His garments are white, like um, snow. No, that's the second, uh, like uh, linen. Uh, and levusha uh, tlag chiver. His garments are this. The vereshi ka'omer naka, and his head is white like. Uh, no, no, you're right. So I'm sorry. His garments are white like snow. Tlag is snow. The reisha omer naka, omer naka, and his and his head is like white, like like um, like tzemer, like a like, uh, a like linen, huh? Like a like a lamp. is linen. Wool. Okay. Wool. Uh, tzemer is wool. No. Tzemer pishtim. Pishtim is, is uh, wax. Tzemer is. But ketamer, uh, ketamer. I think it says like linen. It doesn't matter. Bottom line is that's what Daniel saw. It's a very cryptic mystery. What does he see exactly? So Chassidus explains he saw the level of Atik Yemen is high, the highest level in Elokus, and he sits on a kisse, and it's all white because white is the color of the etzim. That's, that's the, the, the underlying thing. So the lashon here that's to say Tikuna da Atika Kadisha. So Tikuna the Lavur or uh, yeah, of, uh, is, is taken, gets uh, um, repaired or. Uh, elevated in this one ga- garment this is all encompassing the chaltikun the klola the chaltikun in other words it connects with the garment of all garments or all tikunim you could also say tikunim and all the tikunim for he what the garment is that chachme ilas timah so right here you see that atik kadish is connected to chachme ilas timah so you have here, the, remember we said before, that Chach Mestimah connects to Pnimi So he's bringing the Lashon from the Zer. V'hai ikre Eden. And this is called Eden Ilah, Stimah. You say Gan Eden. Because Atik, as we'll see, Eden is, is pleasure. Gan Eden is the level of Tainuk. And this level is called Eden Ilah, Stimah. It's concealed. V'hu Mechad Atik Kadisha. And that's the Mechad of the highest level of Atik Kadisha. This is what it says in, in Idra Zuta. Harishab Khinis Khachmis Mechis Tmo Gili Vislapsus Atik Mamish. So Mamish Araya that Mechis Tmo Khachmi Los Tmo is connected to Atik Mamish. Again, this is Kabbalistic, but this is the, the level that we're talking about here. So that's what he wanted to show. The ma- why is all this Negei, as you'll see, because remember the Mamutza. We're talking about Mechus Tema is ultimately the Rebbe Rashab's answer. How does the level above Atzilus connect with Atzilus? How does the Ebishtu, who's not Chochma Bin Adas, connect with Chochma? So he said the answer is Mechus Tema, because Mechus Tema at times elevates to the highest level and can also bring it down. He's basically really essentially dissecting and getting to the essence of what is Mechin. Remember we spoke yesterday about Mechin, Mechin. That Mechin has the ability to go to places that your heart can't go on its own. You know, emotionally, you relate to things that are very close to you. But a mechen, you can dream about, you can read about something that you're not even close. Like here, we're reading about this. We may not ever be at this level, but you can imagine, you know, you can visualize it. And that's a critical element. Basically, it was gonna, ultimately, mechen gives us the ability to go to places in a lakuz that's higher than anything. So you can dream about a world higher than this world. Then the shaila is, how do you bring it down?
strecę. No dzisiaj czy coś takie. Yeah. So, so, so that's yeah. what it comes down to. It's, it's made it when you think about it because it's like, like I once heard, like when benching, we say, uh, you know, lechem. The word lechem is unnecessary. Everyone eats. Lechem. But lechem also has the atheist mochama, lochem. It also has, if you refer to the words, cholem. In benching, why do we say in benching? We talk about Islam, and so on. You're thanking the Ebrish for eating. Why are you talking about Islam, and so on? Why are you talking about Islam, and so on? Because by eat, he doesn't just eat. He eats in order to dream about a better world. Most people you eat and get weiter. In other words, there's no such thing as, as, as reaching heights. You know, you want to be meditate, go meditate. By eat, when he eats a meal, he doesn't just think about my, my sustenance and survival right now. He thinks about why, am, why are they able to put me here? Why is he giving me food? Why am I strong? So I should be able to dream of a better world. And that's what kept Eden going, even in the difficult times. They always knew. Not just a dream of a The Rebbe once said by Fabreng, and I remember, Because he talks about, you know, he's a cholom, a sheikh, a kumen, a better world. What's veld? You know, we live in a world where we be realistic. And the Rebbe said that as, as he considered it a compliment. In a chanami, who's in a balchalemis? You know, it's good to be a balchalemis. People who don't know how to dream, don't know how to aspire to a better world, are never creating a better world. Realistic people stay realistic, and they say they stay in the in the gutter. You want to g climb out, you have to dream of that place. So basically, that's only the possibility. Only human beings have that ability. Animals don't have that. They, they don't dream of a better life. It's, they're not. They don't. They also not miserable like humans are, because it also goes both ways. But they don't have the capacity. They're not. You know, an animal doesn't create fax machines and cell phones and iPhones. It's comfortable. Lives in the same habitat. Leave me alone. You know, this is what I do. Humans are both sides. We dream of a better life, which also makes us miserable if you don't get what you want. But the point is, making the ability for a mind to think, to hear, to, uh, to, to dream, to aspire, to imagine, to imagine, is a place that, that allows a human being to go to things that are higher than the regular structure. The whole world changes because of it. We sit here, we can think about something beyond just survival. I'm just trying to put this in atheist. She's, that's why he's making such a big thing to go. Mechus Timur goes all the way into Attic. It means it reaches the highest levels, bottom line. That's what he's saying here. So, the Mahadev always. So he says, so, but he could ignore the law, so who Mechus Timur? I suppose Mechus Timur can give you a slap just Attic Mamish. The Mahadev calls to Kuna Attic of Chinus Mechus Timur, move me there. Since he just said that it is the close tikkuni atika, the levushim of atika, the tikkun of atika is, in, is, is the level of mechis temo. From this we understand the b'chinas atik who, but mechis temo b'chinas islapshes panimi. So we understand from this that it's not just in a makivdika way, in a, in, a, in a superficial way. It's in it's islapshes panimi. Mechis temo has in it atik be panimis. Ve'nikra mechid atika, because that's the lashon there from the zehar. It is zuta. It's called Mechid Atika. The Atik has a level of Mechid. You think Atik is higher than anything that's me that Mechid. Mechid is an intellect. So we establish from this the Chach Mistimah, as opposed to the skull. Galdalta is connected to Primis Atik. But I'm not going to go more into Primis Atik because I think he's going to explain it then. We'll see what it means. Again, that was Zehar. Now the Rebbe Rashab is going right there. Now Eitz Chaim. Sharchov Bey Sev Perik Vov. The Pushit emphasizing his, how grounded. What does he say? They're Kosov. Don't understand the Kesser of Chinus. Eir Ruchni Maki for love. Kesser, the crown, is a Eir Ruchni, a spiritual energy that's Maki for love on the human, on the Odom, Odom Elian. Remember, there's Odom Elian. We're like the Odom Atachn, is Bitsir Odom Elian, Odom Alakise. So this Kesser is Maki. The chetzeni you say who bechinus galgalta. This is all what it says in Eitz Chaim. The chetzeni is of keser. The external part of keser is galgal galgalta, the skull. The ikar of keser will amaylam of galgalta. But the ikar of keser, the premius of keser, is higher than the skull. Kamo al derech Moshe lamata, like al derech Moshe lamata. Ha keser who ha torah shalgabe haresh. When you put a crown on someone's head, on the king's head, 
It's an atara, shalga beresh, right? Atara, it's like a garment. Uh, 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 huh? Yeah. Atara, shalga beresh. Shenasa me'evan mavonim tevis, v'nivdal hu mina adam. What is it? What is the physical crown like? A crystal crown is not part of you. It's an object outside, made out of special stones, precious stones, whatever diamonds, rubies, ves, jewels, and that that's nivdul mina adam. And then the hare ha gogelus who mechal adam rakshu etzem ve'ina bi shalkus kol kach. The gogelus, the skull, is the chachelik from the person. It's part of our body. Rakshu etzem, it's a bone. And it doesn't come down into details. Well, Cain, see the Adam who parts of. Well, Cain, Koka, well, Cain, see the Adam who parts of Ponin. Ah, okay. Well, as the see Adam is not, the Gilgalus is not, is not a broken down, it's a bone. That doesn't have any details. That's why we say tziyuradim is from the parts of the face. The face has already tziyurim. You know, it has a, you know, you have eyes, you have ears, you have nose, and so on. Avagam etzim agogelos, but also the, but the, that, even though it doesn't, it's, 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 um, it's a bone, and doesn't, it's not his chalk, it's not, it doesn't have any details, let's say, like the face. Av etzim agogelos, who maki for adam, vukeli shalav sheida harotzen. But also the gogelos is, uh, but even though it's a bone, that's a gilgalus, the, the essence of the gilgalus of the skull is a part of the body of the person. And it's the keli, it's a container on which is sheda, rotsen. Rotsen, will, which is the level of arich, as we'll learn, is a sheda on this level of gilgalus. Vakesu dover nivdul mina adam. But the keser ultimately, I'm ashamed, I'm saying keser is higher than that. Because the keser, the gilgalus is still part of a person. It's taken out like the ponim. It's not primius. It's still part of, but it's still part of a human being, and it's the makif, and it's in a way shaded. Whereas the keser, the crown that you put on a person's head, is higher than, is separate from the human body. The crown doesn't become part of the human body like the, the skull does. Well, lamaila, what is it, lamaila? That's in the human. That's in the in the way we are, the human being, lamata. Well, lamaila hu this explains what he said there, that it's Ikara Keser, Atik. Atik is like the crown. It's not part of the person. So the lower level of Keser, what he said before, um, is Galgalta. That's still part of who we are. That's a lower level. But the Ikara Keser is something that's Nivdal, like a physical crown, separate from the person. So we have Keser as two parts, basically. The, the skull part, which is uh, part of the body, and the part of Atik, which is Ikara Kesa, the main part of Kesa, that is Nivdal. It's separate, like the crown is separate from the person. And it shines in the Golgalta, in the skull, only the Kesenius, like we said earlier, and only in a form of Makif. Whereas the Chach Mistema, what, what shines in it, Atik Primius Mamush. So but essentially what he just said in these few lines was bringing sources, Sai from Zayar and Sai from Yitzchayim, that there's two levels, two levels in Keser, and what and Chach Mistema <coughs> is connected to the Primius of Keser. Okay. But Inyan who, this is the Kabbal of it, now he's going to explain the Chassidus of this. What is the Indian in this? Al Derech Moshel, the Moshel, with an example, Lamata down here from us. Gili Hatainu Kuberotzen or Bechachme. Lamata Gili Hatainu Kuberotzen or Bechachme. Hainu Kishma Malam Rutzen Shalad. Where is the Gili Hatainu? Where is the Gili of pleasure? As we'll see, Tainu is Attic. So where is the pleasure, the gili of pleasure, who berotzen or bechachma? Pleasure is revealed in the rotzen, the will of a person and the chachma of a person. When someone fulfills what you ask, you ask, you want something. Someone fulfills your your will. After rotzen, in beitam v'seichel kla, even if the rotzen doesn't have any tam v'seichel, has no reason or or seichel behind it, any rational behind it. Actually, zeh yichbitz b'leitam, 
but this is what you want. It's not a reason. You want something. A person wants something and that's it. Even if it has no reason. And when someone fulfills this rotsin, even if it has no tam and seichel, you have nachas from it. You have pleasure from it. Someone fulfilled your rotsin. So we see that where's pleasure rest? When a person, where's a person get pleasure? When something they wanted was fulfilled. Even if the will is, a, is, a, is, is not rational or has no reason for it. There's a pleasure in it. This means, okay, one second. And there's another level of enig. Hamalubish b'seichel v'chachmah. So here we see Oinig, that's Melubish and Rotson, that has no Seichel. Then there's another pleasure, that's Melubish, Davke manifests Davke when there's Seichel. V'chochma, Avshin L'Sheichel is Chalal Rotson. Even though he's going to the other extreme, it has Chochma, but it's not connected to will. Hayin Sheinu Seichel HaMechayi V'Sad Rotson. We're not talking about a Seichel that is Mechayi, that, that, that compels a certain wanting something. It's just Seichel. Person thinks about something, a, a, a wondrous, a awesome thought, idea. Even if this seichel is just a pure idea, it has nothing to do with because I want it. It's just idea. That alone. He has an unbelievable pleasure. A nifla, a pleasure in this gishmaka idea. So you see here a pleasure in Seichel. There's nothing to do with it, you want it or not. Just the idea. You heard something beautiful. Kishmak. Gives you a lot of pleasure. Then there's another pleasure, the other extreme. Someone wants something. Even if it doesn't have any Seichel, you do what he wants. You fulfill what he wants, he gets pleasure. He's talking about two types of pleasure. He's, you're going to see here, this is the difference between Mechis the pleasure in mind, and the pleasure in, in, in uh, the Golgotha, in something that's Makivdi. Like the Gemara says, Rabbi Lozer, I think it is, that his face lit up when he found Anaya Tesefta. He found Anaya Tesefta. Because she has a lot of people who are A person who lived in Seychelles and who found Anaya Xaviad, Anaya Manuscript, a new Tesefta. He has an unbelievable pleasure just from that. Harashesh Enig Berotzen. So we see from this, there's Enig Berotzen, there's a pleasure in Rotzen. Vigan Bechachme, and there's also a pleasure in Chachme. Raksha Berotzen, Ubechin is Makif, Ubechon Chachme, Ubechin is Penimi. So the pleasure in something, someone fulfills what you want, Malad Etsene. Is a is a makiv dike type of experience, and so and, and the mashenkin the pleasure in chokhme is a primis dike. Vahayira alze, and like the proof for this, the berotzen ena enig meisur chayis. In rotzen, the enig the pleasure you get is not meisur chayis. Dime yeshim esanik kishem malam netzayin mukom mokenim eschadish mizashum dov about rotzen. If someone has some type of desire and wants something. He gets pleasure from it, but the pleasure doesn't add, and does not machadish anything. In the in the actual rotsin, ukenida bechush I ainu gubchinas agdole ba rotsin, gubchinas avdole ma rotsin. I'm sorry. As we see bepayol, we see the bechush. The ainig is separate from the rotsin. It's a separate experience. You get ainig as a result. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a reward, the feeling of being rewarded when you, your rotsum was fulfilled. Mashenkin b'chokhme ha'enik sheb z'anes n'chayiz ba'asechel. Mashenkin, when a person has pleasure in learning in an idea, he found an ayat esefte, there is something it adds in the sechel that shows that it's premius. The m'shum z'a yesh l'chayiz g'shmak ba'in y'sechel. So it adds chayiz in the sechel, and that's why he has a g'shmak, that... And because that's the reason that it has a geschmack in the sikhli that he understood. Mm-hmm. Right? 
That's why Seichel, when it gets uh, aged, it gets older, it means, I guess it gets like stale, you know, like it's not alive, it's just mm -hmm. time passes. It doesn't have the chayis. Because it's moved away from the pleasure from it. So when you find a nayate sefta, it's a new thing. The Rebbe, the, 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 the Rebbe Mittler Rebbe writes that when they, he printed Svarim, in Zagdomi he writes, He's printing it to the Yelos of everybody, even though he knows the meaning Ganash, that when they see something, a nuk savyad, they're more chayis. When they see it in print, look at this on you don't appreciate it as much. Right. So you can see a seichel, that once it becomes, okay, you know, I can... I've this, seen like, everything, I've heard But if someone gives you a, a, a rare manuscript and says, this, nobody has this, and it's a new thing and so on, it's a kishmak that you have, you want to learn it, you don't take it for granted. I am Bayes was like that for many years. You couldn't find it. I mean, it's only a few memorandum that we had. The rest was, in, was, was not around. So it was a big chiddush when it came out. It was like new. So he's saying here is that the pleasure that comes from Seichel is a primizdika thing and adds in the chayis. It says, but Seichel is when it's already an old thing, already a custom. Because it's already moved away from the pleasure of it. You don't feel the pleasure anymore. But Rotson, you don't have such a thing. When you want something, you want it. So it's not Shaykh and Son, you get stale. The Rotson could be concealed. But when it comes back, it awakens. But And the reason for this is because in Chachma, the Enig is the Primius in the Chachma. So you see from this how Chachma is very much primitively connected. Rotson, you get pleasure if someone does something that you want. But the pleasure doesn't add in you wanting it or not wanting it. And a Chachma, the pleasure of Fedish adds. That's why when it gets old, you don't have the, it's not, you don't have the same, uh, when you find something new, the pleasure adds and you want to learn it more. In Rotson, a person has some type, some type of taiva for something. You know, he gets it, he has pleasure. It doesn't get it, doesn't have pleasure. But the pleasure doesn't change anything. It's a rot, and he wants it. <clears throat> From this we know, we see, this is the proof, the berotzna emig is makif lavad. We see that berotzna in will, it's only makif. And a chokhmah, it's in a primistic way. I'm just trying to use an example of a rotson. Let's say a rotson. I don't know if he has an example here. Person. A desire, a rotson, he wants something. A person has an akshanus, he just wants something. What does he want? <laughs> he wants power. He wants power. Why, say, why, why do you get power? Because I know that no one's in the game with about it in this table. Okay. So then we can talk about it okay. uh, objectively. <laughs> Very well. <sir. laughs> you know? What is power? Some people would say power is influence. Some people feel they, you know, they feel they're important because they they're achieving something. As they, powerless, the opposite of power, powerless. I'm a victim. I sit. I can't change anything. My wife tells me everything I should do. You know, you like just you go along. Power gives a person a sense of. Well, a lot of people pursue power because it's ultimately. Once I let's start from the lowest level. I didn't say it's the only thing. Okay. <laughs> Some people pursue power. Because it's a way of giving themselves a certain sense of meaning and significance that they're achieving something with their lives. A lot of people who pursue power are very insecure. They don't find it elsewhere, so they go after power. That's one way. Then there are people who are more idealistic, you know, and it starts, they really see a problem, and they feel they want to change and fix it. So, not so much into the power of the power, they want, they have to be in a position to be able to do that, so they uh, get elected. Whatever, this is a president, uh, it doesn't matter who it is. And it could be very, very, very pure kavana. Unfortunately, sometimes when you taste power and you're already in the politics of it, you can get corrupted, very corrupted. But that doesn't mean that the person didn't have good intention. And then people that are both, they do good things, they also do not such good things. You know, they could have... I'm not talking now about what power corrupt, I'm talking about... Okay. I said, no, no, but there's, there, is a, there is a thing called, uh, you know, I saw... I saw Wow, that's a loud one. You're getting deaf. 
Mm-hmm. I saw in the Balsham Tov, I made it to I think I wrote, I wrote it up, yeah. It's a Sigvaldic. It's Poshim Negei of the Pale. He'll be, he says that, he spoke about Poshim uh, running for election, Mamish. Mamish running for election, talks about it. He says that if a person feels that he has to be the person who's running the show, it's not a good sign. It should run the other direction. And if they want, if he, if the Abishta wants him to be a fear, he'll, he'll, he'll make, he'll, he'll come after him. But if you push yourself, it's never a good sign. It speaks about Kedah Chamesha. The Mesha you love in the underveg. If he wanted Mesha, not Chamed Mesha Rabbeinu. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get mixed up. <laughs> and the Abishta wanted him. He made sure he got him. He says that clearly. He says that if you have to be the manik, the Abishta Shemach and You don't have to do anything. And Kedah. It was the opposite. It's a gestupt. Feels like not feel it. It's a very interesting piece. I mean, I don't. That's not the point. I wanted to really bring an example. I don't know. I, I brought power because. No, no. It says here. Like I didn't power. want to say a tower, a, a taiva, for example, eating because that's kishmak. And power. A person has a dotson for power, and you could say, hey, I don't know why. I need to. I, I need to have power, or I need something else. I'm just trying to say here. Well, I need so good. Once you're in that position, you get pleasure from it. But the pleasure doesn't add because you're wanting it. Has nothing to do with the pleasure. You want it. So, the, so the, oh, well, the thing is, sometimes you want. Sometimes you, the, the want goes away, or it's like he says, concealed, and then it reawakens. Mashenk and chachme is a whole different thing. A person has gishmak in learning something new. He finds something new. This the gishmak actually adds to the seich. He'll learn more with more gishmak and so on. In the ratzim, the pleasure is like a reward you get, but it's not. Doesn't change the rots and makes it better or worse. In Chachma, the Tainug is Negei, and that's why when a Seichel becomes old and it goes away from the Tainug, you don't pursue it as much. Uh, whereas if it's a new thing, it's like that. That's basically what he's saying here. So one is Pnimi and one is Makif. Vatam, the Sibas Adover, I'll be Pasha too. What's the time? What's the reason of Sibas Adover? Why is it this way? That one is Pnimi and one is Makif. That one, you know. Well, the Fisha Rots will begin Air Makif. Because Ratzin L'Chadchil is Er Makif. Ratzin is not a Primizdika thing. To want something, it's just a will. Al-Kain, Gama Enik Shebezer B'chines Makif. So also the pleasure for it is also Makif. Ratzin is not a Primizdika thing, like you're taking, like Chachma, for example, you understand something with your mind. Or like you eat something. Ratzin is a will. The will for something. Will is always a Makif Dika thing. Somebody wants, here's another Ratzin. I want to have a house. Want to have a house. So the house is the building, but the, the will of it is a makavdika thing. Since chachma is erpnimi, however, on the other hand, al kein gama enigu is primi. So therefore, the pleasure is also a primizdika one. It's also an internal one. V'zeru gam ki masha rotsu. Na masha berotsu, rachit senis hatainu, v'chachma me primi satainu. And this is also why rotsu. You have the chetzeni satayin, the, 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 the external part of the pleasure, and chachm is primi satayin. So one thing it's it's makiv, the other thing it's chetzeni satayin. Okay. The fish are called er makiv b'chinas chetzeni. Because everything that's makiv is an external thing. Makiv means it didn't enter, it doesn't permeate, it surrounds. Chol er primi b'chinas primi. And er primi means it permeates, it penetrates. This is Speaking now, Amayim Ramuzgi says, every level, it's all a fi'erech, all relative to that level. In other words, what he's trying to explain now is, you could say, what do you mean? That makif is chetzenis and primis primis. The fact that it's chetzenis is because it's such a great light. Primis is only because it comes down on the lower level. So he says that what he's talking about is on every level, on that level, the primius is what goes in inward. You could say that which comes in the slapsus and primius has a or levat. That which comes in primius is only a reflection. And the atzmi, which can't come into the primius, that's makif. Nevertheless, even though that's true, nevertheless, the primius is a is a is a ha'ara, but it's a, but it comes from the primius of the mashpia. So makif, you could say, in pure uh, quantity power, is greater than primi. 
But primi and eichlus comes from the primis of the mashpia. Ubchinus hamakiv would actually say elyon, and makiv is only the chetzenis of the higher. So the chetzenis of the higher may be greater than the primi that comes into the lower, but it's not as primi as dik. Ukhmei mashpia mekabel, like you see by mashpia mekabel, yes, ubchinus makiv. When a when a mashpia and a mekabel, there's the makiv who masha mashpia meshaya chushya mekabel boy from kizel mashpia loy. The makif is that the mashpia mishai he estimates, he envisions, he, he tries to understand the chushi, the the the, the, the um, talents of the, and not just the talents, the skills, and the abilities of the makabul. But if in kazeh mashpia le, hari hashor hazeis ene beetz maskalose. This assessment is not the etzim seichel that he's giving him. It's an arum. So that's called chetzenius. But when he gives him, even though it's only a reflection, it's only a ha'ore, it comes from the etzim ha'skola. Very good. And then there's another level of er primi that even the primis of the alien mamish, not ha'ore, comes into his lapsus. But he's saying here basically is is, is explaining that Hapnimi is deeper than the Makif. One could is that even if it's only a reflection, but it comes from the primis of the Mashpia, whereas Makif is a Makif thing. And the second thing is that there's also an air primi that comes from the primis of the Mashpia, not just Ha'ara, and that comes also down below. The bottom line is Chachme is the primis of the Enigo, primis of Atik. And 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 uh, Rotson is only the chetzenius and only in a makiv dika way. Okay. But Al Kain Liyah Shah Rotson Makiv Chachma Primi, and therefore since Rotson is makiv and Chachma is primi, Al Kain by Rotson Chetzenius Atainug. Therefore, by Rotson you only have the external part of pleasure. Ubchinus Makiv in a level of makiv levad, only in a level of makiv. Uba Chachma Ubchinus Primi Satainug Ubchinus Er Primi, and a Chachma in a wisdom. You have the primis of pleasure and an even of air primi. This uh, concludes Ace Reish. And the duff is good for staying. What was the sum up of what we learned today? All this. In the process of summing it up, I'm going to do two things. One, you want to sum up exactly the, what the Rebbe Rashab said. And the second is, how would I apply this? If someone said to me, someone said to us, what is us negated to my life? You know, oh. how could I benefit from this? Mind of community, basically. You know, um, and the Rebbe Rashab took the time to write this. So you can imagine he didn't write it stand just for masculine, but for staying in the Hechel elements. So the Gale Pale. And that's, I mean, I'm just saying that's one of my my goals in doing all this is to translate it like that. But the truth is it's two stages. First, that's from good fashtein versus zokt. It's like we've been talking about the mashpia mechal before, you know, if you don't absorb and listen well, you're not going to be able to explain it well. So the truth is I'm processing it as we speak. You know, I'm thinking it through. It's, 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 it's a complicated piece. But what I'm missing personally, I'll just tell you what I don't really get really well yet. That's why you have to learn more, have to read it again and again. Is what an example of Rotson. The Chachma part I understand. You know, like you said, so the Rabbi, Rabbi Lazar found a new Tesefta, a new book. It's a Gishmak. You know, it's like a person comes home with a new book, they right away want to read it. And once it's sitting in the shelf for a few years, you don't have. That I relate to. So there's a pleasure, and that pleasure adds to your reading and adds to your Seichel because you're enjoying it. Whereas if you just read it, it's not enjoyable. Like even learning this for me is enjoyable because it's like a new thing and I'm really trying to understand it, etc. But the Rotson, I'm trying to find an example. The Rotson is very, very abstract. A thing that a person does, Rotson, he also gets pleasure. I think that's what, it's, that's what is, for me at least, I don't get that yet, really. And if I get that, I can give it, I'll get it, it just needs a little yeah, processing. What exactly don't you get? The Rotson. The Chachma, he's saying there's a difference between two pleasures. If I do what you want, and you get it, you have pleasure. But that pleasure is, doesn't really change your will. It doesn't add to it. It's makivdik. 
Just like the Rotson was Maki. That's what he says. Uh, whatever it means. Again, could you repeat? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just spacing. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to space in. What does he say? You know what Rotson is? Well, okay. You have will. Some people have will. They, they desire things. They want things. When someone gives you what you want, you get a pleasure from it. Okay. You got that so far? Yeah. When a person reads something that's geschmack and understands something, they have a pleasure. Right. These two pleasures are not the same. That's okay. the key thing in this in this painting. I get the second one. I don't get the first one very well, to be honest, so far. I'm trying to understand that rotsen, the, the, the pleasure of someone filling your rotsen. Because he didn't give an example for it. That's the thing. I'm looking for an example. Um, are you... The pleasure of somebody filling your rotsen? No, I know that, but why is it so different? He's saying that the pleasure when someone fills your rotsen is makif and chitzenius. Was with the pleasure of learning something new is primizdik and and uh, mm-hmm. learning uses the uh, example of learning. That's the previous one. The one, yeah, the finding a new tesefta. There's the Gemara that says that he found a new tesefta. It's like someone finds a new book. You know, you have a geschmack from it. I, I see the difference. Let me put it to you this way. I, the way I'm trying to understand it in practical terms is something like this. It's much more dynamic. You know, let's say a person like... It, you, I mean, you, you relate to the experience of finding a new book and, and like coming home and wanting to read it. You have that type of experience? Or, or anything new, anything, some type of new seichel. It has to be seichel, Dafke. Wow. Then there are things that people want. They want, you know, whatever reason they want it. It could be good reasons, it could be bad reasons. What he's basically saying, that type of pleasure is, is not the real thing. It's more of a person who has a taiva. He gets it fulfilled, so he has some pleasure from it. Megate vaita. No one grows from the process. Because you go back, to, okay, the next day I need to have again the same rots and the real nachamot. There's no growth involved. Ah, right, you have pleasure. Well, well, you, you, the growth is you go to the next level. Like um, once you achieve one thing, you, there, is a, there is a... But that's when, that's when I think that, that that's what he's not saying. He's not talking about... He's talking about a rots and the person has, a, let's say, a rots and for, for like... like uh, there are people that are, they want to be a gabai. Wherever they go, they're the gabai. So you definitely don't, you know, that, well, they want to the it, it doesn't change. It's a thing that's like just a, a steady rotsen that you always want to have. And you get pleasure when you get it. Whereas chachme, your seichel grows. When you have pleasure from it, you want another book. You, exactly, you want to grow. That's what he's saying. The rotsen does not grow. The rotsen doesn't get stronger or weaker because you have pleasure from it. It's like this type of ongoing thing that a person has a will. I, 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 I um... That's what I think he's saying, but I have to, I have to study it more. I think the way I, w- I would go about it is um, to try to try to figure out what is the um, what's the outcome of both types of pleasure. The the pleasure of um, any 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 gashmis they can think. The second you get it, you know you want to go on to the next level. It becomes a very uh, I don't know if that's the uh, but but it's it's a more uh, at, at, introvert, introvert, what's the, uh, like when you have pleasure of, of reading a book, you don't need anybody to know about it, you'll lock yourself in a room, and the more you get into it, you just, it's a, it's a type of pleasure you don't need, the, the pleasure of, of, you know, you're, you're around and you have people serving you, it's a different type of, uh, talking about not talking about pleasure. No, but the type of, He gives an example, the next Patek, I think I got an example. The Ratzin of a father to be with his son. So this Ratzin is not with Apitam Right. No reason behind it. Right. It's not like if they get rid of the reason, you get rid of the Ratzin. Ratzin never will change. What's a, a healthy right? father. Ratzin to see... Uh, Tainug. Tainug, whatever. Does get the in the next Prokim. Uh, hold on, hold on. But let's just talk this a moment. A father... Has a natural thing. He wants to be with his son. He misses the son. This is a biological fact. It never changes. Just because you may not think about it twenty four seven, but it doesn't take much to, to to get a father to think about. When I say son, it means daughter, son, a child. 
right? It's always there. Tam v'seichel has nothing to do with it. In other words, you can't, all day you can sit and try to say that this doesn't make sense, it's not going to change a, a, a father's uh, feeling. Right? We got that. We all have children, we know that. So, and, and, and when you see your son, you get that rotsen fulfilled. Let's say your son walks in, you hug him, and you sit down and talk to him. You get pleasure from it. But the pleasure doesn't make the rotsen stronger. And you don't do it because of the pleasure. The pleasure is an outcome. It's like a reward for something that is very deep inside of you. That's what he's saying here. Whereas when you sit down with a new book, you, the whole thing is based on the seichel of it. It's not like you you have a natural a connection with that new teshefta. So there, when you learn it, and you have gishmak, the gishmak adds in your learning. Oh, you, you learn something that's new, with much more gishmak. The rotsen doesn't become bigger and stronger just because you have pleasure. No, because, in other words, the next time you see some because I have pleasure, that's why I'm going to want it more. You don't want it more. You don't want it less. It's always there, steady. It's almost like the pleasure is chetzenius and makif. Why? Because it, it, it's not dependent on it. It's not connected directly. It's, a, it's an outside reward. Now, that, 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 that's definitely a very powerful thought. But it's chochme. So that's what it's chetzenius and makif. What's chetzenius and makif there? The, the tainug is not, I'm not, not that the rotsun is a bad rotsun. The tainug there is only chitzenis the kamakib the connected to the will. Whereas in chokhmah, it's very much interconnected. The whole chokhmah will be different. There's no chayis. You don't learn something with chayis if you don't have a, a gishmak in it. That's the bottom line. So it's a whole different thing. So rotsun is, basically rotsun is, each of us have certain chitzenis. Talking even good ones, healthy ones, like I just said, a parent to a child. And then we have things that we experience in life, and their pleasure is very much negay that it should be with, with pleasure, because without pleasure, you're not going to want it, you're not going to do it. Someone go learn to use wisdom if they don't have pleasure in it. No. That's with a child, you, you have a connection with whether you, whether you enjoy it or not enjoy it, and so on. Basically, that's what he's saying here. That's the difference. What's negay to people? I would have to develop that, but I would write something up, something like, uh, like the two. It's like dissecting the two. A person has two elements in their lives. The things, like when you go to work, as much as your chayis is in it, it doesn't come close to the rotsun of being with your child. I most of the day you're working out with your child, so it's an interesting interplay that the things that are so much part of you, you do so little of. With all the excuses, whatever the reasons are. And what is that? You know, that's what I would try to make this like relevant. That type of thing. On the other hand, on the other hand, if a person is very integrated, then the work they do or the learning they do, and the kishmak that comes from it adds also into the rest of their lives. I mean, that's uh, talking about summing this up. That's essentially where he's at. I mean, it's it's uh, it's part of a whole picture here. We're talking about the Ratzin. And the end of the day, the ultimately, is that Mechus Tamar is a Mamutza. That's the, the key thing he's leading to. So that we have to really read further. Huh? Maybe you should brush your teeth again. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry about it. That's why I said it. I don't think it's... I mean, I have no problem doing it when I'm here, but okay, I don't know yeah, how, you know, how consistent it is. It's, it's more yeah. consistent than 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 Tuliasi gets back online. Yeah. Okay, because he's recuperating. Right. You see me then? Yeah. Say Yeshua. Right. You see? Yeah, but this is coming out. It's yeah. coming out. Yeah. The base of Shmuel Gizakt. Okay, that's the main thing. I'll say it now for the record. Hey, Yuda, you're not. You're this you'll hear. Listen, come here. A few things about Yossi Gerelik I want to say, yeah. online, whoever's listening. <laughs> the Alter Rebbe, when he started being Megal Chassidus, so he got arrested. And Chassidim saw the arrest as a, uh, a kitrig, you know, that Lamayla, they weren't sure about the Chassidus. So then the, the, he asked the Baal Shemtev, the Maggid, who came to see him in prison, you know, the Maggid said, should he stop? And they said, not only not stop, you have to double and triple. And, and after that, silence. Every time there's a new gilly, there's always something, a challenge. You already get where I'm going, right? See, see this? Give a quick gishmak in this place. 
Listen. So then when Ayin Bez was published in Tav Shalom at Zion, it was a big thing. The Rebbe said not to print with names. You know this. Because the Rebbe, you know, the, the, the Rebbe was not, he wasn't sure whether it was right to do. And literally, within the year, the Rebbe had a heart attack. People sit and talked about that. And then when they printed it a second time, a whole new audition with changes and, and they found new things, it was the year Tav Shin Nun Beis. Nunalif, Nunalif. And the Rebbe had, after the next year was Chavzai Nadar. So, the Dakas, the Dakas, I'm thinking that since we have your Ayin Beis, we're learning it, and we're going to make a revolution. I mean, I know that, for sure. <laughs> so the Ibrish that came out of was a Shiloh. So Yossi Gorelik got a virus. And while we were, if you remember, the first Sunday we were there, and he was already, that was when he was sitting and said he's not, he's not feeling good. What is the first he, Sunday? He, remember, we were learning in his house, and he yeah. said he's not feeling so good, and then just the next day or two of this. So I'm still thinking yeah. that, no, what's the Gale with Tunes? Yeah, he says that's the first thing that's a menach. Yes, for state that Because till now I had no clue what this is, this mysterious virus. Anyway, so it was all good. It was all good. Is the Haraya then that he got well and healthy? Is the Haraya. And the Tzai Di Kumen, Amidav Macha Grace Rabbi Yeah, it's on the other side. What's that? This cup of juice. I'm coming back in a minute. Do you agree? So the time. I, 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 one thing for sure, we, we, we got more of you. You were, you were, uh, you know, playing hard to get. And I'm finally, not. <laughs> and finally now, I was coming, we, we're, we're we hanging out by you every day. We were asking you, come join us every single day. I can't morning. do every day, but that's every Sunday. <laughs> but we're doing it here. Because <laughs> I, 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 out of town. No, because, because I'm not I'm going to stop something that's good. <laughs> you want it to. Yeah, I know, but this is this is something good that came out of it. That we well, had well Yossi's reasons. house is very nice, and I was there. Every, I did never miss a Sunday when, when I once yeah, I started, no, unless I was out of town. Right. Like, no, uh, uh, the fact is that we have. Uh, yeah, but uh, as, as we just years. learned, uh, getting you, you know, it's like a it's like a marriage challenge. You get too yeah. custom to somebody, you start losing. You'll see. <laughs> so far, less and less people are coming. That I see. Yeah, but but, but, but you've been stronger and stronger since then. Huh? And yeah. we, we've been losing people, but you've been getting stronger and stronger into it. That's uh, something. Josh Smith. Okay, that's the story of my life. I don't know, and then at the end of it, no one else will be here except me being no. strong. No, no, you're going to have us. Well, Why she's been bad March, huh? yeah. we, We've been enjoying it. Why she's been telling me about the Fabregans. Yeah, yeah. You should come. Uh, so Mesh- come back in a minute. I'm just going to get my seat. It's fine, it's fine. Come.